Greetings friends and subscribers. And welcome to another year of beer video. And today we're going to be trying this. Uinta Brewing Company's Pinot Colada Milkshake Pale Ale. All right. Let's drink. Okay, so Uinta Brewing Company's uh, Milkshake Pale Ale, Pinot Colada Milkshake Pale Ale in fact, weighs in at a moderately hefty 7% alcohol by volume. Also interesting that there is a bunch of uh, very notable sediment, Starfield sediment. We'll probably see it more in the glass than in the bottle. Oh, I didn't try if it was a twisty. Probably see it in the glass rather than, it's not a twisty. In the glass rather than in the bottle. But you can definitely see it in the bottle. It's just kind of floating around there. Uh, so, I give it a smell. You maybe get a coconutty smell on top of the beer a little bit, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can definitely sort of get that. Tropical odor. Uh, it's from a quirky little brewery in somewhere uh, west, probably Salt Lake City, Utah. It's um. Plane flying by. Southwest Airlines. Oop! It gave Julia a little bit more of a heady, a heady and frothy pour there. Yeah. It's okay. So you can see the sediment, it's a cloudy, unfiltered ale, and there's sort of sediment kind of rolling around in there. It's sort of just suspended in the fluid. Look! That's fine. Um, so I'm going to give this a sniff. I get pineapple. I get a lot of pineapple on that. Yeah, I get a coconutty pineapple sweetness in there. Yeah. Um, one of the oh, yeah, weird, you can definitely yeah. See the floaties. One of the quirky things they said is they add, uh, what did you say, lactose to it? Uh, yeah, it's yep. made with lactose and other flavoring agents. Yeah. One nice thing about this this company as well is that uh, they brewed this, and possibly most of theirs. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but it says on the bottle that it was brewed. Um, with renewable energy, mostly solar and wind. Wind power, yep. So that's pretty awesome and I like that about this. Yeah, I'm sure it has no effect on the taste whatsoever. Probably not, but I'm just saying it's nice that there that there are brewery companies out there now that are working with renewable energy and I think that's pretty awesome. I really wish you could see it up close. You can definitely tell it's cloudy on camera, but there are like little white flecks just floating all throughout it. You see them a little bit in your side, but definitely yeah. more on mine. So with all that being said, it's bring it up to taste. the camera a bit closer. It doesn't focus very well. It's really yeah, that's true. And you won't know if it's focusing. Look at that. Oh god, that's horrible. I don't know if horrible, but we I'd say weird. And uh, the floaty bits, I'm wondering if it's related to lactose. There's kind of like the sediment, creamy sediment. There's a strong bite that is bitter, uh, I found, that just kind of took over the entire flavor. It is a little bit bitter. Uh, I'm guessing lactose, it's possible that that gives it, whatever is added to it, gives it kind of a weird, milky, creamy, filmy flavor to it. I can taste a film in my mouth Yeah. Um, from sipping it. I don't get any of the pineapple or coconut on the palate at all, though. Like maybe in the nose. I got nose, pineapple but... in the back of my throat, like as an aftertaste, but it's that bitterness really comes up first. Yeah, it's really unusual. Um, I'm gonna say I don't even think it's. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it'll be okay. I'll drink it so I don't waste it. But uh, I'm glad we just gave it a try on your beer. So. So what else is there to say about Uinta Brewing Company's Pina Colada Milkshake Pale Ale? I'm glad they're using renewable energy. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and as always, thanks for drinking with us. Cheers.